Street art is one of the most magical kinds of art out there. What's awesome about it is that it's usually done in public places for all to enjoy. Unfortunately, street art doesn't last long before cities paint over it. Here are 25 pieces of amazing street art before they disappeared. Number 25, I am what I am, and I'm a fan of Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye was a beloved character for millions of kids in the 80s and 90s, and he inspired young boys everywhere to wolf down spinach like it would give them superpowers. To be honest, I never really got what he saw in olive oil. She was way too skinny, and this fan even got a tattoo of Popeye on his arm, which is awesome until you realize that every time you go to take a piss, that you'll be getting a handy from Popeye. Number 24. Oh man, see this is what happens when you go too hard on McNuggets. Looks like Ronald had a big night out. You really need to pace yourself anytime you walk into the Golden Arches. Get yourself a happy meal and walk it off, Ronnie. Number 23. This Dutch artist is absolutely excellent. He's truly exceptional at creating art that portrays the sunny side of life and he makes sure not to scramble the message. I'm not gonna walk on shells. I'm just gonna come out and say it. He's an expert. Number 22. Some people don't mind a little bush and this is street art with them in mind. It is a bit surprising to see bush like this out in pubic public. Personally, I think maintenance is important, but be careful with those shears. Number 21. These next two installations are from an artist named Kelly Goler from New York. They're called Poor and Poor 2.0. This pixelated stuff looks awesome. It's like we're living in a video game. Very avant-garde. Great work, Kelly. Number 20. Coming in at number 20 is a massive piece of street art that literally takes up the whole street. It's located in a Chinese village and it took two days to complete. Passerbys can enjoy the simulated feeling of walking on air. Number 19. It's just a basic truth that some art sucks and that water does not look potable. This guy should really be boiling before drinking. Maybe that's why he's so pale? Number 18. This installation was created by Spanish artist Isaac Cordal, who likes to use his art to convey messages to the audience. His themes are a bit different from the standard street artist because he focuses his emphasis on global problems such as climate change and sputtering economies. This piece is called Politicians Debating Climate Change. It's both moving and poignant. It seems to scream to the viewer that our politicians won't act on this looming threat until it's too late. Isaac is best known for his small cement sculptures that he leaves scattered all over Europe. He's been building quite the reputation and his following has exploded over the last few years. Number 17. I had to pick this piece for the list. This artist magnificently blends the background with the foreground for an installation that will stay fresh until at least next season. Number 16. Banksy is perhaps the most eminent contemporary street artist that there is, and he is renowned for his subversive anti-establishment messages that are usually served with a dash of humor and irony. He gained popularity for some now famous works that kept popping up all over the world in the early 2000s, including this symbolic piece on the wall of the Israeli West Bank. In 2015, he created a temporary amusement park in England that is a biting satire of Disneyland. Banksy's park was named Dismaland, and it had some bizarre features, including a nightmarish fairy tale castle and this airport style cardboard security check in area. Number 15. Nothing can survive a kick from Bruce Lee, and this railing just entered the dragon. Water can flow or crash. Be water, my friend. Number 14. For a lot of us, this Snoopy piece hits a little close to home. Nine times out of 10, if you see me Monday through Friday, I'm daydreaming about being in bed. Number 13, we got heroes in a half shell. 
This artist has made the fearsome fighting team come to life, and he didn't even have to use the secret ooze. Rest assured that when Evil Shredder attacks, these turtle boys won't cut him no slack. Number 12. Street artist Damon Bellinger has taken his talents to the sidewalks of California. Cities like Redwood, California have actually partnered with Damon so that he can bring what he calls shadow art to the people. Damon's shadows frequently get people to stop and do a double take. It's nice to enjoy their wacky and permanent shapes, but they also help people to appreciate the transient beauty of real shadows. Damon's artwork evokes a feeling of nostalgia that harkens back to those old childhood shadow creatures on the wall. Number 11. This one is just nice. We may have our differences and trust issues with one another, but the world would be a much better place if we could learn to love those that are different from us. No one could accuse this artist's message as being irrelevant. Number 10. You gotta kick that nasty habit, sewer. Your breath is bad enough without cigarettes. Number 9. Perhaps one of the most brilliant brand advertisements ever, and it's in the form of street art. It's in a perfectly placed spot where everyone can see it and where everyone is looking while they're crossing the street. It could be described as minimalist and effective. You could even say that this art is clean. Number eight. American street artist Mark Jenkins is known for using the city around him as a canvas. And he's pretty good at putting a smile on your face. Here's one of his works which features this little statue that's doing his breast to hold on. Basically his style is to create art that messes with your head. And he specializes in making you feel like you should call 911. Number 7. This colorful and eye-catching installation from Felix Verini is awesome. It's a hodgepodge of seemingly chaotic shapes, but when everything lines up at the correct angle, it all comes together in one mind-blowing visual experience that seems to defy depth. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number six. I'm not even quite sure what's going on here. Like, this dude is definitely real. And he has real hands, but those hands look like they're holding a fake hose. And taking a look at this guy, I get the picture the only hose that he could ever get his hands on would have to be imaginary. Number five. Watch your six! You got a snail on your tail! Grab some salt or get out of the way! The use of the pole as one of its antennas is a nice touch. Number four, this tape art by artist Akasha Nihalani is proof that artists can sometimes be good at math. This guy's arithmetic is on point. Akasha's MO is that he uses angular geometric shapes to stage playful interventions in dull street landscapes, giving his viewers a window to a whole new world. Number three, Art is best when it performs a function. While waiting for the bus in Milan after an irritable day, you can use the FRA Bianco Shock Anti-Stress Station to smooth out all of your worries. The artist had the brilliant idea to hand cut square sheets of bubble wrap for transit patrons to pop as they wait. You can choose from three different sizes to fit the need of your personal wait time. Perhaps one of the cheapest therapeutic inventions ever made. Number two, artist Joe Carnavelli should probably be detained for vandalizing the community's infrastructure, but there's something too fantastic about what he does that I feel like we should give him a pass. Carnavelli will take everyday objects such as pylons, barrels, and street signs and transform them into street art. From a T-Rex to a street warrior, there's nothing this guy can't use for his creative flow. Number one, watch out gentlemen, this girl runs with a pack. But I hear if you can get in with her crew, she'll have you howling all night. Thanks for watching. What was your favorite piece of street art? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and become a Badger buddy. See you next time.